Welcome to Nibbling with the Neighbors. Come on in and have a bite. Hello everybody, my name is Melody and my YouTube channel name is Mom's Vlog 80. And today I am taking over the nibbling with the neighbors, woo! So today I'm going to do two parts. One, I'm going to fry some steak with my own spices and I'm going to do twice baked potatoes. So first what I'm going to do is I have six potatoes here, six large potatoes, and I'm gonna clean them off I'm gonna put them in the microwave for 15 minutes. Once they are done and they're so halfway soft, I'm gonna slice them up and then do my own mixings for twice baked potato. And we will see you guys when I come back and when that is done. Okay, so I've got the steak in the oven, and three of these potatoes and uh, are halfway cooked from the microwave. So I cut this in half first. Make sure I try not to peel the peel so much. Make sure the peel stays intact. See all the steam coming up? I'm going to hold it with a napkin so I'm not burning my hands. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spoon as much as I can from the potato into my ninja mixer. So here we go. And you gotta be careful, hold, hold the peel down and just scrape along the peel. So I'm still gonna scrape a little bit more as much as I can without ripping the peel. Okay, I like to leave some in there. So it's just skimmed. So I like to leave a little bit in there just to hold it up and I set it in the pan just like this, the uh, glass pan. I'm gonna set this in here now, because I got the bottom filled. Now I'm gonna do this with the rest of these potatoes. I should have, um, I should have six halves. And um, once I am done, we will come right back. Okay, so as you can see here, I got six empty peels, uh, potato peels. And this is halfway filled with potato in innards. Does that even sound attractive? I don't know. So I like a lot of flavor. So what I'm gonna do is, first I'm going to add sour cream. Okay, so I'm gonna add a bunch of sour cream. I'm probably gonna end up using this whole thing on all eight potatoes, but right now let's put half of this in. And this is a 16 ounce tub of sour cream. I'm only gonna put half of it in for right now. Actually, it's three quarters of it. Okay, so I put three quarters of the sour cream in there. I've got some garlic salt. I definitely like garlic mashed potatoes, so we're gonna do a garlic flavored, twice baked. Okay. Seems like a lot, but it's not, especially with this uh, much amount of potatoes. Salt and pepper mix. Mexican blend shredded cheese. So I'm gonna put a bunch of cheese in there. So it will be cheesy twice baked potatoes. Obviously, I like cheese. Is 
it's going to be quite the consistent, uh, thick consistency. See, and one last thing is half a cup of milk. And for this size, I think I'll go with half a cup of milk just to get it uh, not as thick. So let's see here. That's about half a cup. I'm gonna stick this on. Okay, and stick the lid on. And we are going to pulse it first just to give it a little bit of mix. And we're gonna press the dough settings. I have dough, blend, and crush. I'm gonna press the dough settings. I don't want it too thick. So. Okay, that was about 30 seconds. I don't need any more than 30 seconds. This should be good. I am going to do a quick taste test. Perfect. The thickness of the, the consistency, the thickness is perfect. You can see that. I hope it's focusing on this. It's actually perfect. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to fill these potatoes. So you're gonna take a potato and just fill the potato back up. By just being a great helper today. Try to push down, cause there's a lot here. Then I'm gonna set it back in here. And then I'm gonna fill up the rest of these and add cheese to uh, the topping, then we'll go put it in the oven. So we'll see you back then. Okay guys, this is what they should look like. Overflowing in the potato peels. And I am just gonna top it off with cheese and put it in the oven until the cheese is melted. Just a little bit crispy. And there you have it. We will see you once my meal is done. Let's get to frying my steak. Okay, focus, there we go. Okay, my pot holders are being cleaned so I'm using a towel, but here's what the steak is starting to look like. Yum. Now we're gonna put in the twice baked potatoes. 10 minutes at most. 400 degrees. All right, let's get to cooking, frying the steak. Okay, this is what they're supposed to look like. Melted and instead of grabbing some tongs to try to take them out because they are pretty loose, I tried to put it into this spoon, which I can't do one-handed. I have to use a fork or spoon on the other side. So let me get this served up onto the plates and then um, we'll see after. And there you have it, fried baked steak twice baked potatoes and watermelon for a refreshment. So I'm gonna go take some pictures of this. All right, bye.